I know that's become a very um, familiar sight on the Uncut blog over the last week, but drink it in because this is the end of Can 2010 for me. I am going from here to the airport. Forgive these, incidentally, but it's very bright this morning, very sunny, and I forgot my sunglasses. But, uh, but hey, these do the job, you know. 30% colour loss, dims the brightness right down. Fab. Wouldn't want to wear them in a cinema, though, would you? Anyway, look, I've just come out of the Lumiere, where I've finished Cannes on what was, for me, a high note. Last film I'm going to see here, Fair Game, the Doug Lehman movie. It's another uh, Iraq war story, so an interesting comparison with the Ken Loach film, which we saw yesterday, about which there is still a lot of buzz because it was a late entry. It's the true story of Valerie Plain Wilson and her husband, Joe Wilson. You'll remember she was the CIA operative who was famously hung out to dry after her husband claimed that America had gone to war on false information. And I thought it was pretty gripping and entertaining. Solid performances from Naomi Watts, who I like very much, Sean Penn, who admirably reigns in the Sean Penn grandstanding until the very end of the film. You can compare it, perhaps, with Paul Greengrass's Green Zone. I think it bears up very well in comparison to that. I liked it. I enjoyed it more than I liked or enjoyed the Ken Loach movie. It doesn't necessarily mean it's a better movie. I mean, certainly, I think it's going to have a, a tougher ride with the critics here. But I, I, I liked it. I was thinking about how political thrillers have changed since the 1970s, how you could have movies like All the President's Men then that had ragged edges and really sort of gnarly qualities to them. Now everything is much more mainstream, much more polished, but hey, you know what? It was still a substantial film. It had substance, it had something to say, and it wasn't afraid to say it. Actually, it's failing at the very end was it felt the need to say it very clearly, and there was finally some grandstanding from Sean Penn, God Bless America, which provoked a lovely ripple of French political mooing. It's it's a lovely sound. It's like cattle lowing in the fields. Just as the film finished and Sean Penn did his speech, comes up from the, uh, from the critics in the Lumiere, which for me was a lovely way to end. So a high note for me to end on Cannes uh, 2010. You know, overall, it hasn't been a great festival. I don't think there's been as many standout movies as there have perhaps been in the past. But, you know, I haven't had a breakdown. So I might have to come back next year. That is a worry. Satisfied.